Incursion Red River. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words of the words. On Steam. Incursion Red River is a tactical first-person extraction shooter set in a war-torn modern-day Vietnam. Exclusively single-player and co-op gameplay, customise your loadout, complete contracts and extract or die trying. This is an extraction shooter, guys. Imagine escape from Tarkov without any PvP. So this is basically your single player. It doesn't provide bots for you. You're totally on your own if you go in by yourself or co-op with up to four people. So it, it caters for that crowd rather than the PvP crowd. And what you do is you have a little base uh, which has um, a little PC where you get emails from contractors offering you work. So you will be told to go in and blow a bridge up or blow a, uh, a factory up or take someone out or whatever. There's not a huge amount of, of missions you'll start um, repeating missions quite early on in the game uh, there's also challenges that you can do as well but there is only one map but before you go in you have to pick your kit uh, you have a big stash when you go into missions you can loot stuff and bring them back out providing you get out and you keep everything that you loot as well as the mission rewards uh, if you die in the mission you lose everything so you have this stash in your base where you need to keep a good bit of um kit going on you need uh, spares of everything just in case you fail a mission and die although to fail a mission and die in this game you would need enemies and unfortunately that's one of the things lacking in this game in enemies i swear guys i have never seen more than five enemies on a single mission that i've done yet five enemies i mean the map's not exactly big i'll grant you that but seriously five enemies it's i, I the first time i played it I was sneaking around on my knees, crawling through the bush, thinking, shit, they'll be everywhere. Is that a one? No, no, that's a, that's a twig. And I was all like freaking on full alert looking for the enemies. By the time I'd finished that mission, I just run around like a prick. And until I hear them shoot me, and then I turn around and, and just kill them. It's, it needs a ton of work. It has a massive, massive amount of potential, this. I'm sick of saying that for games. Um, it, but it does. It, the whole way that the the base is set out i like that the way your stash is set out i like that i like the weapons all the upgrades you can get for them the, the attachments the different kit that you can get for yourself your um, armor your backpacks meds everything is set out really well and it's very easy to use the interface the idea of taking missions and going out on an extraction with some of your friends again great stuff and the graphics they do look nice it has a bit of pop in but uh, it ran pretty okay for me. I never had any disconnects in co-op either. It was pretty solid for me. The missions are repetitive. There's hardly any of them. There's only one map. And the AI, they're not great, guys. And there's not in, nowhere near enough. There should be triple the amount of AI on the map. Uh, I don't understand why there's only five. <laughs> five or six. It's just, it's just, I don't know. It is what it is, guys. So it is very, this is pre-alpha, by the way. And it's early access. So this is a pre-alpha, very, very... It's more of a proof of concept than an actual game. So if you are going to buy this, uh, buy it with the, the sort of view that you're going to support long-term. Because if you're just buying it for what there is now, hell no. Just don't. So I'm, I'm middle-thumbing this because it has potential, but at the minute it's just nah.